this is gonna start to get kind of, I don't know, introspective, I guess, looking beyond just what you see. But this car to me is not just the body. It's not just what you see. Um, it's a breathing thing. It's a rolling piece of history. It's a work of art. It has an identity as the Hudson Hornet, right? That's what it is. It's not just a cool old car. Um, that racing history, part of the identity of the car is tied to that engine, right? A 308. Uh, that engine was exclusive to the Hornet itself. Uh, Hudson didn't put the 308 in any other cars from the factory. And the fabulous Hudson Hornet, you know, the guys driving it, Marshall T, Herb Thomas, all those guys, they were driving 308s. So that's the engine that won all those races. It's part of the fabulous Hudson Hornet. And I know I'm kind of diverting from just Hudson's as a whole, but this is also just part of my experience that I'm bringing up here, but it's a part of the car and it's a part of the car's identity. You know, it's, it's to pull out a Hudson built motor and put in something made by General Motors or Ford or something like that. I think you lose a little bit of that, quite honestly. Um, it's not just a Hudson anymore. It's not quite as unique as it was, it loses a little bit of what it was, I think, and what it is. To, to have a Hudson-powered Hudson, I think, is the ultimate demonstration of just how special these cars are, and just how cool they are to drive, and that racing history. I think if you take out the engine and you put in something else, it's, you know, I don't want to sound corny, like it's half Hudson or something like that, but I do think it loses a unique part of it. I think it loses part of what makes it a Hudson. What made it special during the day was that engine uh, and the way the car was built and designed, but I think they go hand in hand, you know? The car isn't just a body, to me anyway. A car isn't just what you see and what you drive around. It's also part of what it was and how it was designed and how it was built and how it's powered and things like that, you know? This hydromatic being in here, like, are there other transmissions that you could swap that out for? Yeah, probably, but why? Like, that's what it came with and it's perfectly fun to drive and it's perfectly reliable and it's a part of this car's identity. That's what it came with. And I'm not one of those guys who has a problem with modifications. It's really about what you want to do with the car, I guess. and how you appreciate it, how you enjoy it, because the best thing you can do with these cars is drive them. For me, that's also driving these engines. For you, it might just be driving something that looks like a Hudson and feels like a Hudson, and maybe it has something else under the hood to satisfy going faster or being more reliable. Although, you know, I, I think that this is a perfectly reliable engine. I've said that a million times already. But for me, it's, it's important to, to keep those things together, to be able to say, yeah, I'm, I'm driving the fabulous Hudson Hornet. I've got the, the winning race car body and frame, and, you know, step down design, and I've got the big old six that they used, and that's all part of the, the car. That's all part of the experience and what the car is. And that makes it unique and, and special. And it's just it's a piece of history. Maybe you get the idea, maybe you don't, maybe it doesn't matter a whole lot to you, but for me it does. It's important. It's what makes a Hornet a Hornet, you know? Without the 308, it's just kind of a dressed up Commodore, right? I mean, they kind of had the same wheelbase, and I think eventually they just axed the Commodore because they were kind of the same car, and the sales for the Hornet were so monumental compared to that of the, uh, the Commodores anyway. It's a part of what the car is, you know, and if you want to drive around a Chevy, maybe you want to go and get a Chevy and uh, get into old Chevys or other other cars of the era, you know, but something attracted you to Hudson's, right? Something made you interested in Hudson's. Something brought you into the fold, you know, and uh, the engines might be part of that. 
maybe it's not, but maybe it'll keep you interested. Maybe it's it's worth exploring and, and trying out. Boy, if you get the chance to drive one or get a ride in one, if you you don't have one or you're working on a project and it's not to the point where you can drive it yet, boy, it's just such a cool experience. Very unique.